everyone. Thank you for joining me today for Carrie and Craft Painted Canvas Bag Edition, and we're using shaving cream to do it. Uh, in your kit, you should receive should have received three colors of fabric paint. Your fabric paint will be in much smaller containers, but just so you know, this is the brand we are using. In case you're curious, we got a big box of it off of Amazon, and I'm doing uh, silver, black, and purple for mine today. Um, you should have gotten a small bottle of shaving cream and you should get a paper plate and then your bag. Items you'll need from around your house, you'll want a paintbrush or some kind of skewer or chopstick, something along those lines to marble um, when we get to it. You're going to need masking tape to tape the design on your bag. And as always, you will need a beverage. I have my water today, um, so let's Get your stuff, let's get comfortable, and let's get crafting. All right, so the first thing we want to do is tape out the design on our bags. As you can see, I've gotten started. Leave your ends up for easy removal, um, but make sure all your edges are down. I'm gonna put one more piece in. This does not have to be anything overly complicated unless you want it to be. Um, again, as with most things I try and do, make it your own, your own design. Um, some people tape off like stained glass suns and different radiating things, but whatever. I did a little stained glass window kind of feel to this. Um, and just rub over your edges to make sure that your lines will be straight. Okay, so the, after that's done, your bag is ready and prepped. You are good to go. Okay, now for the fun part. Um, we have our paper bag, or our paper plate here, and our shaving cream. Make sure I can, there we go. Helps if I take the lid off. So we are just, and if you do this again, it has to be the foamy kind. You can't do the uh, gel. It needs to be the foamy kind. So I have on my paper plate is full of shaving cream. It also smells good. Now we take our paintbrush, skewer, chopstick, pencil even, whatever you have, and start swirling the color throughout, okay? And it doesn't have to be complete, you don't want it completely mixed because there will be a marble effect, okay? All right, so I've done that. I'm just wiping this off. Now, your shaving cream now has fabric paint in it. So just be aware of that when you are starting to use it. Okay, make sure you don't get things that you don't want dirty, dirty. Because fabric paint is permanent. Now. I'm using the uh, a, square, a, pair piece of, a spare piece of cardboard, and I'm looking at my design. I'm looking at this. What do I want from my shaving cream to show up on here? And the best way to do that, pick out what color you want. I'm going to start in the center. So I'm going to grab this little blotch of swirled color here. I'm just going to start here in the center. Okay, I'm going to come in, I want a little more purple, come over here, okay, I'm going to move my thing off because I'm going to need my other hand, now I've got a nice batch of color right here, and the shaving cream allows us to get more of that marbling feeling. 
now I'm going to actually take some of that off. I want to get in this gray, more of the grayish black zone here. Now, once this is on your your uh, bag and it dries, it's permanent. Okay, so yeah, we'll go with that. And the silver is putting a little bit of glitter through the whole thing, which I really like. I like a little glitch with my glam. And these bags can be used for books, for toys, small items you want to take to the beach, take to the uh, farmer's market if you want to control what you're buying because they're smaller than your average shopping bag. I want to add a little more of the purple here. Okay. Now it looks a little muddy and a lot of it right now, but it will look good when I remove the tape. Now this is one of those things, you're gonna have a lot left over and that's okay. If you wanna do a t-shirt, same process occurs. Um, you wanna use this to do something else, that's fine. Fabric, it's great. Um, but by the nature of this kind of a project, you will have a lot left over because it's shaving cream and it expands. So at this point, you, once you have this the way you want it to look, you actually have to take the tape off before it dries. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with these ratty edges because it all clings too much. So this is where you wanna be careful. As you can see, I've got purple paint on my fingers from my spreader. So I'm gonna, this will be my tape hand. And that hand is relatively clean at least. So just carefully begin pulling tape off and you have your lines. And if you have different widths of tape, that's also a fun way to do this. But taking your tape off can be a bit of a challenge. Don't be afraid to rip it. Okay, go ahead. Down. Okay. Sorry. Alrighty, so I've taken my tape off and this is what the front of my bag looks like. Now I'm gonna let it dry for about a day um, and then it should be good to go. Another thing to consider, if you are gifted with puffy paint, you could go around the outline of each shape with a black, a white, or a complementary color puffy paint and really have a cool effect. Just a thought, I always like to add suggestions to improve upon what we've done. Okay, and at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the code for those of you who are participating in Summer Quest 2021. This is the code to earn your points for the Summer Quest Challenge. Um, I thank you, and don't forget hashtag Hershey Library photos of your completed bags, and hopefully we see them in the library this summer. Thank you!